Alexander Smirnov has been charged with lying to the FBI and creating false records. Smirnov is the informant whose statements to the FBI have served as the basis for federal investigations into the overseas business dealings of Hunter Biden, son of President Joe Biden, as well as a congressional impeachment inquiry targeting the president himself. In a recently filed indictment, federal prosecutors allege the claims made by Smirnov about the Bidens are false and were passed along with the involvement of associates of Russian intelligence. Our senior White House correspondent joins me now to discuss these recent revelations. The FBI and the prosecutors who have been working with Smirnoff now say that the information they've gotten from him about Joe Biden and Hunter Biden is fabricated. My first question to you is, what if it's not? That is an excellent question. Though federal investigators and prosecutors are claiming that Smirnov has been feeding them stories originating from associates of Russian intelligence and that those stories are not true, if we assume that those stories are true anyway, this doesn't look good for President Biden. It means that Ukrainian energy company Burisma did in fact hire Hunter Biden and pay Hunter and Joe Biden several million dollars each in order to ensure then Vice President Biden, now President Biden, would act to protect the interests of Burisma. These are certainly impeachable offenses that many say rise to the level of treason if they in fact happened. Which they still could have. Absolutely. Earlier today, I spoke with a professor in the physics department at the University of California, Berkeley, which has long been one of the foremost strongholds of left-wing academia. And after some aggressive questioning, this professor confirmed that there is nothing in the laws of physics which rules out Alexander Smirnov's statements to the FBI being true, despite the fact that the FBI and also apparently Smirnov himself are now saying those statements are false. Sounds like President Biden isn't off the hook yet. It's true, President Biden, still being guilty of the crimes described previously by Smirnov, is one of the possibilities not completely ruled out by our current understanding of the principles underlying the workings of the cosmos. And in fact, during an at times somewhat combative follow-up interview, this same liberal Berkeley professor admitted that under certain interpretations of quantum mechanics, it's virtually guaranteed that somewhere in the potentially infinite reaches of the multiverse, there is a parallel plane of existence where President Biden is unquestionably guilty of these charges, as well as countless other far darker and more unspeakable crimes. I take it this means the impeachment inquiry focused on President Biden won't be ending anytime soon. That's the impression I get from the House Republicans who have been pursuing impeachment. I also spoke with Representative James Comer this afternoon, who, as the chair of the House Oversight Committee, has led the impeachment inquiry. I asked him if he had any comment on what I learned from the Berkeley professor I mentioned a moment ago, and while he couldn't commit to anything, Congressman Comer seemed intrigued and indicated the committee might be open to exploring theoretical physics, including less firmly established cosmological models that require the existence of extra dimensions beyond the three spatial dimensions and one temporal dimension, which we perceive in our everyday experience as a potential new avenue for their investigation. Is Congressman Comer concerned that articles of impeachment based on high crimes and misdemeanors committed by President Biden in an alternate universe might be on uncertain footing, constitutionally speaking. I did not get that impression. You use the phrase uncertain footing. That's an appropriate way to put it, since uncertainty is the key principle at play here. Remember that, according to certain interpretations of quantum mechanics, the multiverse itself is the product of uncertainty. When a given event occurs in our universe, every other event that might have occurred instead actually does occur in a series of alternate realities branching off of our own. That means it's not only possible that President Biden has committed impeachable crimes in some of those realities, but inevitable. And correct me if I'm wrong, but if these alternate President Bidens were capable of committing those crimes, that means the President Biden of our universe is also capable of them. You are correct, and that raises the issue of whether we as a nation can afford to trust such a person with the powers of the chief executive, particularly when the person in question is also like a million years old and can't even feed himself his own jello, probably.
It does seem like the most powerful country on the planet should be a little more discerning about who it elevates to its highest office. We'll continue to follow this story, but up next, we'll talk to a psychic medium who says George Washington has spoken to her from beyond the grave to endorse President Trump. That's after the break. Stay with us.